Hello, everyone. My name is Mary. Thank you for watching again. In my previous video, I talked about my Nagano home. Today, I will relax and bring you a different theme. Yes, this time I will be talking about myself. I understand that this video is a blog, so it is essentially a diary of sorts. I thought this kind of one person story is also possible. The background is of Arashiyama, Kyoto, and Yokohama. Please enjoy. Now I have a strange habit. I'm in the process of editing a video that I'm actually going to upload. And I have this weird habit of having a scenario, this video, popping into my head. I write it down on my computer before I forget it. The same thing happens when I'm doing housework for other things. It is not that wild thing, but I do something else in between tasks. But doing that definitely slows down my main work. I might be late between the day I'm editing and the day I'm posting. I'm getting impatient to upload the video as soon as possible. I'm also posting the English version called Mali's Life in Japan. So I'm spending rest of days like this. What I'm eating on this screen is yuba bean paste. My daughter said, it doesn't look good. And I think that's true. But the taste and quantity were just right for me and it was delicious. The following images are Yokohama in the rain in the park where I live. Sadly, the red brick warehouse was closed, but there were a lot of people. Well, talking about today, my head was spinning when I woke up. Usually, I warm myself with an electric lap blanket without the aircon heating. I forgot to do that too, so my body seems to have gotten cold. When I'm doing one thing, 
I get carried away and forget about other things. I'm amazed at my own stupidity. However, I recently heard someone say that he meditates during his hobbies. I can't meditate during work, but in my free time, I can draw out ideas. I have come to believe that my habit must be a repetition of meditation. My head is still spinning, but I went out to do some shopping. After visiting several stores, I went to a hundred yen shop. This was to get the price. However, the clerk at the store told me that I was one sticker short. To get one sticker, I needed to spend another 300 yen. But only at times like this, there is nothing to buy. As I was looking around the store, a woman offered me two stickers. For a moment, I wondered what it was, but she said, I don't collect stickers. So here you go. She gave me stickers. I guess she was listening to what I talked to the clerk at the cash register. Maybe she felt bad that I had to buy something for getting just one sticker. I was surprised by her sudden offer, but I thank her for her kindness. And I was able to get the fruit knife as a prize. You may think, oh, so that's what this is all about. Yes, it was about only one sticker, and not just for this little thing. It fills me up. I know that this is God's intention. Because I have never felt luck in my life. Perhaps it will be more accurate to say that I've been given more than I expected. I know you will find this hard to believe. I was the same way at first. I haven't been particularly rich or famous but I'm satisfied with my life. But that was after I became a Christian. Before that, I had a series of miserable and difficult times. I had no financial resources, no physical strength, and no knowledge. But the story goes on. Scripture came up to my mind, Luke 19:16. Master, with one minor of yours, I have made ten minors. The master said, Good servant, since you have been faithful in small things, I will give you ten cities to rule. Thank you for watching. Please support and subscribe. 
Stay tuned for the next video.